I'm going to go over the entire Eververse inventory for the Warmind DLC as well as let you guys know how the Prismatic Matrix works and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you enjoy learning all things about Destiny, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So, as I said, I am going to be going over the entire inventory as well as the prismatic matrix and we are actually going to go over the inventory first. So, for armor, we have, I can't even pronounce this so I'm not even going to go over this, but this is the um, gauntlets for the warlock. It has one mobility and two recovery. The helmet has one mobility, two recovery. The chest piece has one mobility, one resilience and two recovery. The boots have one mobility and two recovery, and the Warlock Bond is just a Warlock Bond. And this is what everything looks like on your Warlock. Now I'm not going to go over um, everything what it looks like on the Hunter, but on the Hunter Gauntlets you get three mobility, on the Helmet you get two mobility, one resilience, and on the chest piece you get two mobility and two resilience. On the leg, you get three mobility, and then you have the wonderful cloak. As for the titan, you get two mobility and one re uh, recover. I'm sorry, two resilience and one recovery on the um, gauntlets. Then you get one of each on the helmet. Then you get one mobility, one recovery, and two resilience on the chest piece. And for the legs, you get two mobility and one recovery. And then this is the titan mark. Next is the ornaments. The new ornaments are the Dread From Below for the Telesto. This is what it looks like. It's like a little fallen theme, kind of. Then we have the uh, Heaven's Vigil for the Vigilance Wing. Looks pretty cool. Then we have Cork Star for the Sunshot. That actually looks pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie. Like a little molten theme. Next is the Braid Legacy for the Polaris Lance. And if I'm correct, the Polaris Lance is a Scout Rifle. Then we have the Devil's Work for the Huckleberry. And this looks like it would be a uh, submachine gun. Then we have the Hypnopompic. Or Pompic. Hypnopompic, there you go. <laughs> for the Sleeper Simulant. So, yes, this is confirmation that the Sleeper is in Destiny 2, and that actually looks pretty badass. Not gonna lie. And last but not least, we have the uh, Coup de Main. And this is for the Soros Regime. As for the armor, we have the Crown Jewels for the Crown of Tempests. Let's get a better view. Then we have the a stride to the edge, and this is for the warlock um, feet. Forgot what it was called. Transversal steps. There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's for the transversal steps. Then we have the uh, Caprilanex for the stag. That actually looks pretty badass. It's a shame that the stag really isn't that good though. Then we have Thunder God for the Raiden Flux. And we obviously can't do that. Um, then we have War Painted 
for the full tracer, deep pockets for lucky pants, endless loop for the ACD feedback fence, uh, grants uh, Vicksburg for the Actium War Rig, and then last but not least, we have the hip waiter for the Dune Marchers. As for exotic shells, we have the Skyline Flipside Shell. This has two dedicated perks, one being st uh, Speed Demon, which your vehicles take less time to summon and reload your weapons while you ride. And then we have Omni Telemetry, which generates gunsmith telemetry data on any elemental uh, weapon kills. And then we also do have a random uh, mod as well, once you do get this. And this is what it looks like. Next show we have is Bursting Wisdom Show. And this comes with Public Defender, which increased loot from public events on all destinations. And then this also has Omni uh, Telemetry, as well as that random mod. Gives like a little jade look. And then we have uh, Palm of Gold Shell. Waiting Casket Shell. Uh, Orca Song Shell. Copperhead Supremacy Shell. Speckled uh, Giallo Shell. If I said that right. Then we have the Reverted Majesty Shell. That looks pretty badass. Would have been cooler if the spikes were on both sides, front and back. But, whatever. And last but not least, we have the Open Orchid Shell. Next is the emotes. Now these are all the new emotes for the exotics. We have Curtain Call. Fireworks. Home run. And then popcorn. I don't know, this uh, exotic would have been a lot better if it took your helmet off and it actually looked like you were actually eating the popcorn versus what it's actually doing. Looks like you're just throwing the popcorn in your face and then it's just falling off. As for the legendary emotes, we have Awaken the Warmind. Then we have Freaky Dance. Hold on. This I personally think should have been an exotic because it definitely gives me a uh, a Deadpool type of uh, theme. Hold on. Finish your tweet. Then we have collaborative dance. Celebratory dance.
sync dance. And then for the rare ones, we have air quotes. Applause. Opulent clap. Shiver. Zeus like psyche. And then impatience. For the sparrows, for the exotic ones, we have Eon Drive, this comes with Custom Drive, which an experimentally or experimentally tuned NLS drive providing the best possible performance and then it also comes with a random mod. Then we have uh, this Pulsator. Or Vespu Laser, but however you want to pronounce it, I have no idea. Then we have Azure Azazel. This actually looks pretty weird. This kind of new style to uh, Destiny. Let's double check real quick. That one also has... So all three of the exotics come with custom drive. Then we have this uh, Andes Peak Hunter. Reskin. Glam uh, Tobogan. Yeah, I said it like that. <laughs> Terrible. Sickle Skiff. Mind Barge. This actually looks pretty cool. Fiery Phoenician. Mad son of Psychecles. I can't even say that, and I apologize if I like murdered that. Alton's ambush. And then Fly Chaplain. As for the ships, we have Lost Legend, and this is a refurbished Bray Tech ship. Then we have Shadow Trespass, and last but not least, Holborn Splint. Which I actually think this ship looks pretty badass. As for our legendaries, we have the Curris Glore. I can't even say that. I hate Roman numerals. We're not even going to worry about naming the ships. We're just going to go. <laughs> I'm just going to show you what they look like.
Next, let's go over the shaders. Now, I am only going to be going over all of the new shaders for the Warmind, and we're going to start with Molten Bronze. Next, we have Mars Sunset. That actually looks pretty badass. Kagulo Bristle. Ancient Republic. This one, I'm not even going to pronounce. <laughs> And then we have Buffer Overflow. And that is all for the newer shaders. And last but not least, we actually have a couple new mods, but they're not really mods, they're just transmat effects. We have this one. Uh, that gives you pretty much a pixelation uh, transmat effect. Then we have the AI Com uh, Respute and Reboot, which adds a War Mind uh, transmat effect. We have the Celebrate Newness, and this gives you the Firework transmat effect. And that is it for the wonderful Eververse gear. Now, let's actually go over what prismatic matrix actually does as you can see the prismatic matrix connects to new distribution nodes for the duration of a week uh, with each activation guaranteeing an item never previously acquired from the eververse stock now in order to actually use this you need what is called a prismatic faucet or face it however you want to pronounce it Normally, they are in your inventory, and as you can see, I have two. Now, what you need to do is go to the prismatic matrix, and then come down to this circle thing right here, and then hit activate. Oh, press and hold activate. And then you can keep doing it um, if you have more. Naturally, RNG hates me, so it'll obviously give me all of the legendaries first before I get anything else. Now, another thing to notice is you can keep doing this if you have silver. Me, I don't have silver, and I don't plan on getting it either. So, if you guys wanna go ahead and buy silver, you guys can just go up here and go ahead and do so, and you can grab everything here um, when you actually, uh, you know, spend your actual hard-earned money on it. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.